Born and raised in Mishawaka, I went through school here, nursery through um, graduation. Met my husband Todd in seventh grade at Emmons, at junior high, and then we started dating um, in eighth grade. And our first date was at the Rat Skiller at Hundred Center, and it was after a basketball tournament. And we once so we got cut down the net, and we all you know had our little court or whatever. So we had pizza, and then he asked me if I wanted to be his you know steady girlfriend or whatever. And yeah, back in February of 1979, I was part of the first softball team ever. So we had a uh, we had to do a petition. We had over 100 girls try out, and we only had one team at the time. I had Coach Taylor. And then he had a heart attack, and so Coach Wood came and coached us. So, and he goes, my specialty is basketball, so, you know, take it easy on me. All these little kids kept coming up, and they were calling me Jim. And they were, young, you know, kindergarten and first graders, and they're calling me Jim, and the parents were embarrassed to death because they think of me as the gym lady. So they thought my first name was Jim. I mean, not Mrs. Mearsman, not Paula, but Jim. When I first started teaching, I coached a lot, and it was so neat to be in the cave. It's, there's no place like it. It's just, you know, down home. It's home, like how they always talk about, you know, certain news channel. <laughs> but it, it's our hometown, and you just, you feel like your family. We just play, we have fun. I do a lot of games that are different, but everybody's active and involved. Um, we've done yoga which at first they thought it was lame, and then the, the guys are like, this is hard. I just love in Mishawaka, it doesn't matter if it's a sixth grade basketball game or Mishawaka, you know, the basketball, going to, you know, semi-state. What the heck? That is huge. I mean, I could have retired a few years ago, but I still love it. And I've been in Bobber, the best bosses ever, so, you know, I wouldn't, I mean, everybody says that. They're like, if they leave, we leave. You make an impact whether you realize it or not. And so, I mean, you are making a difference. And even on your worst day, you still have something to celebrate. Like every day isn't going to be good, but there's going to be something good in every day.